I had to put these sunglasses on because I was concerned with how shiny this card was going to be that it might burn a hole in my eye hole. Yo ho ho sha! What is up Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm here today with the shiniest shiny shiny in your eye knee to see how shiny it is. It's extremely shiny thing that a friend of mine made for me. Billium Customs. Billium Customs. Extremely shiny shiny. I threw an idea out at him and he liked the idea. He made it for me and I'm gonna strip him to show how shiny this shiny is. So I don't think Soul Striker is gonna get hit. We'll see how well that uh, that statement ages over the next couple weeks, but I believe he's not. So there's a Soul Striker in here that is a leader that he made. Oh, yo, shh. Oh my good no, good now, wow. Woo, whoa, ah, would you look at, look at it. It's so, and it's still inside a series of sleeves. Yo, this man, wow. Oh, whoa, oh, wow. That is hot, that is hot. That is a hot hand. Would you look at the hot, the heat on that hand? This is a heat coming off the tip of his finger on a hot hand man shooting a signal from his fingers that he's about to awaken and untap so shiny, shining sprinkle sparkle onto your eye hole is what this card a different kind of approach to a leader card and i think it's uh pretty cool i think it's pretty cool man a lot of people uh ask me where i get these uh leader loaders from they're from japan and i don't know where to get them here so only when i go to japan can i get these and next time i go i'll be sure to bring an entire suitcase yo what is this are these shot glass coasters Ooh, hey <laughs> Wow, that's nice. I like this. I, could, I would play on this tiny little coaster. These are kind of wild. Are these kind of like tokens also? That looks really good. I should have got that. Yada! Da! Tatakai! Tatakai! And then there's more goodies. Whoa! What? Whoa! Yo! That's nasty. This is a very sweet, considerate wow. This is a very sweet, considerate wow. This is shiny. I'm glad I wore these sunglasses. This is just gonna burn some holes right in my eyes. Wow! Would you look at how shiny? Come on! Yo! I love this. Really like it. And wow! Tokens! Shiny tokens. Yatta! Yo! These are nice. What? This is the 15 5Ks. That is very uh, convenient. Quite a nice upgrade. Play, play upgrade. And more tokens. These are five plus 5K. So six tokens, which is the perfect number because six is exactly how many I would like to have of everything. Thank you so much. So those are the cards. This is the leader card. I'm definitely rocking the heck out of this leader card. And this DMD one as well is so nice. Yeah, this is the, this is the big, big size art leader card scenario so uh you know let us know what you think of it i think i think this style is kind of cool i thought it could be cool to do something a little different you know change the scale on a leader card and kind of shake up the idea of how the uh pictures were put in there for enjoyment of visual space um but since uh since i was given some stuff for free i'm gonna give you guys some stuff for free so this is a, a coin that i made it's a treasure pirate treasure with my uh jolly roger on there and you could win this all you have to do is get somebody uh, to subscribe and comment their YouTube name in the comment section. That's it. Just say, hey, pal, would you subscribe to Joku DMD so I can win this piece of pirate treasure? Sounds like a pretty reasonable trade if to my ever had heard one. So anyway, guys, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you today would be people will tell you biting your fingernails is bad. But why is biting your fingernails bad? Biting your fingernails is bad for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons I think it's not great is because it puts an unbalanced pressure on your temporomandibular joint. Have you ever heard somebody talk about their TMJ? That's your temporomandibular joint. It's a bilateral hinged joint and it works with one other one because you have one on each side. So your TMJ is a condyle that goes into a fossa. And when that condyle moves, it rolls down the bone. So when you extend your jaw forward, you begin extending your condyle down the eminence of this bone in here. And then there's a little disc that lubricates that joint moving back and forward. So when you move your jaw forward and you bite on your fingernails, you put an 
uneven pressure on that joint on the side that you're biting on and you can damage the joint over time and create really serious jaw issues. That's one of the reasons I would recommend not biting your nails, but you also shouldn't bite your nails just so you don't damage your teeth. That's a kind of obvious one. But that's the TMJ nail bite explanation brought to you by Joku DMV. Thanks for watching the Shrippum uh, Billiams Customs. Thanks for the Shrippums. I'm gonna put all of his information in the description down here. So check out the description and click those links and order some nice shiny cardboard. This is a that looks really good. I should have got that. Yo ho ho sha! <clears throat>